Now the first ever car show was actually held in France on the Champs-Élysées on December the 11th, 1894. There was nine vehicles on display from four manufacturers. Now today we're at a car show but it's nothing like that kind of car show. This is all uh, American cars, classic cars. The show itself is known as the Northeast American Car Club's Fins and Chrome. It's the annual show and we're on Gypsy Screen in South Shields. As you can see guys, there's camping available up on the top around the outskirts of Gypsy's Green. Well, look at this, look how many cars is here. There's all sorts, customs, classic, moderns, 4x4s, side stalls, food, drink. Oh, what a day. It's absolutely perfect weather today for the show guys. That's a nice 1962 Beetle. And you don't see many of those Bentley as yours. That one is an 06 model. That's next to a Mark II Mondeo from 2000 and an MGB GT from 1969. Then there's this early Ford Cortina Mark I from 1965, owned by Mark for well over 30 years. Then a 49 Ford Prefect, complete with moon disc hub caps, as well as an MGB convertible. Just going through the next row, and there's another Beetle, a Mark I Mondeo, along with a Volkswagen T4. And that's a nice Audi Coupe from 1981, with a lovely 1968 2.4 Jaguar next to a 1992 Honda Civic CRX. A 1993 Reliant Robin next to a 2006 Land Rover Discovery. And then there's another Audi Coupe, this time from 1984, and that's beside a Ford Sierra XR4, also from 1984. There's a 1993 Proton 1.5 JLS, you just don't see those anymore. A Mini Cooper from 1997 gorgeous 1957 Zeta Plus as well as an MG ZT260 and a 1997 Mazda MX-5. Next to the Peugeot 205 is a wonderful two-door Ford console from 1960. Ford really should have made a two-door model of these. Followed by a 1972 Jensen Interceptor, a 1969 Austin Saloon, Volkswagen Passat, A 59 Frog Eye Sprite, 69 Volkswagen Camper, little Ford Anglia, a Subaru Impreza, and a Jaguar that looks as though it's lost its cold springs. 1967 Austin A60, another MG convertible, and a 98 Audi convertible. And then there's this heavily customised 1982 Rover Mini. Looks like it's got a roof chop on it, so that's been done. Uh, the flames on it are on the front wings, the roof and the door panels. They look as though they're embossed onto the car. Uh, there's motorbike carbs on the engine, but the doors are chopped down. Modified rear lights. Oh God, what an amazing amount of work it's gone into that Mini. Six hundred D Mark II Cortina. Mark One Golf GTI. 1986 Audi Quattro, the one to have. Mercedes SL convertible. Lancia Fulvia. Datsun 240Z. Rover P6 3.5. An original Mini Metro, Ford 100E, and this, which is actually a 2016 Peugeot 108. Not that you'd know that from looking at it. A gorgeous Pontiac GT37 Dodge Challenger Chevrolet Chevelle 
Corvette, 1958 Austin A55, another Corvette. A pair of Fleur de Lis, which I believe are based on Ford Transit. A genuine Boss 302 Mustang. 67 Mercury Cougar. A 69 Mustang. 57 Ford Skyliner Retractable. The New Edge Convertible Mustang. Chevy Camaro. Sedan delivery van. 57 Chevy. Ford V8. 1951 Chevy's a pair of them there. Fifty three Chevy convertible, a fifty Chevy pickup, and a fifty six Thunderbird. <coughs> and of course, a lot of the cars that you'll see on the field here today have been to my cars and coffee that I run at Millie's American Diner in Bedlington. Morning. All right. Uh, you can check that out on the Millie's American Diner Facebook page every Wednesday night from five o'clock, where you'll see a lot of these cars. It really is amazing weather today, though. It's so hot. It's fantastic. What more could you want? Two thousand and nine Ford Mustang, sixty seven Chevy Impala, seventy eight Ford Fairmont with a turbo, two thousand and five Chevy Astro van, a seventy eight Ford Thunderbird, Chrysler three hundred C, Lincoln Continental, seventy eight Chrysler sedan. 56 Chevy 210 A 59 Chevy Apache 3100 pickup truck Kit from Knight Rider, gotta have that 2000 Pontiac Firebird 2016 Ford Mustang A 1936 Ford Popular 1969 Plymouth 62 Chrysler Valiant, 1957 BSE sedan, a bunch of modern S550 Mustangs, a 1947 Dodge, and then a 1982 Chevy El Camino. A 1952 Chevy van, Chrysler New Yorker, 50 Chevy pickup again, a Chevy stepside pickup, a 50s Mercury, a 54 Chevy pickup, 53 Chevy Bel Air, a Chevy Day van, also known as Rain of Fire. A 1960 Ford Hot Rod, 2002 Ford Pickup, a 1969 Chevy El Camino, and a collection of Corvettes from the Corvette Owners Club. Now look at these, the massive Monster Bishi, heavily modified Mitsubishi 4x4.
and of course the famous Hellboy, also heavily modified Toyota Hilux 4x4 pickup. Now both of these have been on the scene for many years now and they're still looking as good as they ever did. Absolutely fantastic guys, well done for keeping those on the road looking like that. And of course, they are followed by this weird and wonderful collection of um, uh, oddities. Yes, weird and wonderful collection of oddities. And there was also Ian Kerr's supercharged V8 dragster on display today as well. Totally amazing for Torino. 77 Ford pickup, Ford Custom Line, Chevy Impala, a lovely looking Pontiac Bonneville, 59 Cadillac, and a Chevy Stepside pickup. with a Ford Mustang sitting in front of it. And then all of a sudden, guys, the day seemed to fly over and it was time to leave. So I'll keep quiet now and I'll let you enjoy some of the cars on the way out as everybody was going home.
hello. Fingers crossed you make it. All right.
Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video give it a like, share it amongst your friends if you want to and I'll leave a link up at the top of the screen there for, uh, for last year's show in case you haven't seen that one. Catch you next time, bye for now.